she's running kind of lean right now. I'm just going to hold this over by the gate there, and I'm going to fiddle with... I've been tinkering with this little guy right here, and I can get it to change things pretty well, so I'm going to fiddle with that, and you can watch the game. everything right out of it. That stuff ain't never gonna last, so I gotta do something to cure that. So, this, this is flat, it's carved, and I can just uh, run that thing for a little while. It's a lot easier to adjust than it. Okay, so here's where we stand. Um, it did run out of fuel. Uh, it had a, I could really tell that she was uh, really getting uh, lean right off the bat, so there just wasn't enough fuel in there to, to keep her running. So I shut her down, which is uh, good enough. I got the batteries charged back up. Um, got a couple of issues I got to deal with. One, the vibration on that air box is uh, pretty severe. It's a high frequency vibration from the engine. And I got to get that cured. The electronics in there just won't stand it. It was shaking half the stuff out of it. Um, just on that high speed vibration there. The uh, original startup problem I had was I did not adjust the uh, um, carburetor inside the box there uh, to fully wide open. I had it set uh, closed. So I couldn't uh, draw any air through it so it wouldn't start. So I figured that out by trying to blow through the uh, the 
the uh, the intake right here um, the air mix and and uh, I, nothing came out the other end it was just like dead ended so I said, Oop, probably did it the wrong way so I got that uh, open that back up everything's all right on that um, I did fiddle with the uh, carburetor itself um, inside the the box here to do some fine adjustment on it and it works very very well I was really surprised how fine uh, motor skill it would take just to run that you know to ch change the setting on the richer lean mix mixture so I was real pleased with that I'm not sure that the orientation is going to be advantageous to it with uh, being up and down because I think the weight of and the vibration is going to I'm not sure, once the servo is, is hooked up and running, maybe it'll hold position, but I think just the weight of the uh, butterfly valve working against it and whatnot, I don't know if that's gonna affect it or not. Uh, we'll just have to try it. This is, it's mounted now, and, and um, we're just gonna run it through a bunch of tests now to, to see there's a lot going on with it when you're the, the first run up there. So I was starting to lose uh, my bearings. Um, I had, um, shakers going and all that stuff there. I had one backfire, so I was concerned about the fuel. She's running a little cool. And, you know, you got all that stuff running through your head all the time. And then, of course, this new thing here, we're not quite sure where it is all the time. So it's, uh, like everything else, it's going to be a learning curve. Uh, we're going to get adjusted to it. Once we're comfortable with it, then we'll move on to the next phase of hooking up that little potentiometer with the Arduino. And... Um, I'll leave this filter on for a while because um, it, 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 for the initial startup and everything, I think it works pretty well. Um, but after it's uh, going, I think we can switch over. I can open this up some more and give her more airflow, and we'll do the fine adjustments in the in the uh, um, our, with the Arduino. Um, I don't know. Maybe this will end up staying here because. Um, I haven't taken, I didn't really adjust this at, all the way open to see if I could control it real well with the, uh, with the butterfly valve in that carburetor. So there's going to be some playing with it um, to figure out where that sweet spot is. So I'm uh, pretty pleased with that so far. I mean, I got some issues I got to deal with. Um, but everything is back to working again, um, and uh, so far so good. Now we just got to get rid of this vibration stuff, and uh, I don't know whether I have to mount it in a different position, or I think it's still going to get it right off of the off of this hose here, um, the intake valve. I think it's going to, no matter what happens, it's going to end up doing that. So I got to figure out a little bit of what how I'm going to deal with this. So. Uh, I think that's where it's coming from, too. Anyhow, that's enough. I'm going to uh, go up and do a little reviewing on the video here and see if I can not get something out for you next. Uh, well, I got a lot, of, a lot of orders going out this week, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to fiddle with this thing much. But um, And after that, things are starting to look like I can spend some more time on that. So have a good one. It's still raining out. Crappy day but it's a good day when the gasifier is running. We're gonna unplug and go up to the house.